Singles, welcome <clears throat> to David Sky Tarot. This is the weekend singles reading. I'm going to do an all signs reading with time stamps. Start with Aries and roll on through here. And we're going to pull through the deck. I already did shuffle, put a little energy on them. Um, so this is 19th, 20th, 21st. You know, it's a weekend read, but you know, it's really full moon read. It's already on us now. When I'm doing this, this energy uh, is full on. I think this kind of like culminating uh, what started with Lionsgate in terms of manifestation. So um, if you've been uh, manifesting, um, your ship should come in here uh, this month if they haven't already. This will kind of end that energy from 8-8 eight eight is what I think. And so it's kind of a big deal uh, weekend. I think things are going to come. I feel I was dead in the water for two days and today is like a lot lighter. I think it's going to get a little lighter as so we go into sad season. A little prejudice, uh, Sagittarius, Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, and Mars here. Um, so it's going to do four cards for each sign. We'll start with Aries here, keeping in mind the energy of the moon here, using the ethereal visions of illuminated tarot deck to give it dark. And uh, <clears throat> cutting something off, starting something up, maybe both. And. Uh, Okay, here we go. Let's see. Well, this is your energy in and around love and relationship, Aries. Uh, where your mind is at, where your heart is at as a single person, keeping that in mind. Um, so there's something uh, you're not seeing um, in terms of love and relationships, and romance, something you're not seeing, guys. I'm sipping my old gray tea. So... Um, let me see what we get for advice to a cups. I mean, for this is well, it's advice as to what's blocking you. So this is the problem. You know, I gotta think this could be a manifester because if it is, um, with the blocking being the two of cups, um, it would be literally like maybe focusing on the love so much. Aries is it could be actually what's blocking you. I don't know. I think of what I call the walk away. Put your attention out there. And you kind of walk away with it. So you're not sitting around every day saying, God, I really miss, I'm lonely, I really want love, I want my man, I want my woman. And it's easier said than done. Um, but the walk away is just going on and living your life. Maybe that's kind of what you're not seeing. It's like, because I think like the intentions pick up on like a feeling state, see? Not so much our words. I mean, the words help, but the words help change our own feelings. See, I remember like being grateful. I kept saying, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. I wasn't really feeling grateful. It was quite a while, and one day I remember feeling grateful, and I'm like, oh my God, I am capable of feeling grateful, um, and I think it was uh, the feeling state that made the difference here, but well, maybe help, getting there help was helped by making the statements, you know, so let's see if that's something, if you resonate with that as something, now that makes a lot of sense, so temperance is a Sagittarius card, Aries. And that's it. Uh, this is the uh, patience, but it's just everything being cool. No red flags, no problems. This is the card to me of the walk away, I think of it now. Um, because uh, when you're in the temperance energy, everything's good. You know, you're living your life. You're not having any problems. You're not having any worries. But you have the intentions out there. You put your intentions out there to the universe. Like, I want love in my life, you know. Um <clears throat> And this is that proverbial um, advice that everyone gives. It's like you find it when you're not looking for it. I think there's a little bit of truth to that outcome. So don't resist getting out some this weekend and having some fun. I don't see any problems here. You're single. Um, you know, I don't think you worry about anybody cheating on you. Um, what it could be is, you know, that's how you're going to find someone getting out there and mixing it up could kind of indicate here that you already have someone amongst a group of friends, Aries, and to give it, either way, get out, give it a chance, that's not going to hurt anything, so let me know what you think of that, uh, Aries, this is for the weekend, thank you guys, thank you, Taurus, welcome, this is the singles reading for the weekend, 19th, 20th, 21st here, um, just doing a, a run through of all the signs and four cards, kind of looking at where, where we're at in terms of love and relationship and this is uh, going to indicate where you're at um, Queen of Pentacles okay that's great energy to be in can kind of represent you Taurus 
this could be Taurus. Um, so I kind of say you're showing up in your own readings. It doesn't have to be male or female here. Mm. Um, but someone that's grounded, someone that knows their own worth, someone that's substantial. Um, just be someone that would likely be very desirable in terms of, uh, you know, uh, a partner. Uh, but with this queen, you know, she doesn't, she looks like she's kind of thinking about someone. Keep in mind, I also have um, the heart spread up. That's for if you have someone on your mind, because you look like you might. If you do, check that out. That's up uh, on Monday. I did the end of uh, November read for you guys. Uh, and um, give a ch uh, check that out to see if there's something in it. It's a little bit bigger. And it's about uh, someone on your mind. This is really reading for more someone that's completely single. You know what? I got to tell you guys, Ace of Cups, it's like the problem is, because this is your blocking, the problem is that you've got someone on your mind. Maybe you get them off your mind, you know. Um, I feel like in terms of manifesting, you have to be clear. And that's why you let go of the X. That's why you stop the anger. It's like really not even about them. It's just let it go. Let it all go. When you do, and the Ace of Cups is not reversed, because now it's reversed. Because you're thinking about probably a dead end. Okay? And so the only possible thing that's going to happen out of that is the universe is going to bring you a dead end. So you need to turn that around. And start thinking about only what you want, not what you don't want. Can be another way. The feeling of, you know, I, I can't stand the way they treated me and what they did and all that. I'm not putting up with that again. And what does that bring from the universe? People who do the same thing. So that's why you let go of all that. Simply just focus on what you do want in terms of love. And that's kind of saying the same thing over because now these are actions and arguments and. When you're in this energy, you know, it's going to get you into this bickering and arguing because you're kind of defensive um, here. You know, maybe you're bickering and arguing with the same person. You kind of know there's nowhere to go because this, this is a buzzkill here for a relationship. I mean, if you're on like an early date and you have this energy, just please pack it up. <laughs> there's a time that there's got to know when to fold them and that would be the time to fold them. So in these uh, pinnacles, okay, so these um, eight of wands here, this is a really nice uh, to have as an outcome here, Taurus. And I think it's about getting your energy going, getting it going forward. It's very much a positive card, forward thinking. It's not going back. Um, and, and really put your energy out there, but put it forward. And don't uh, waste it on whoever this person is who's your reverse quit. Um, Ace of Cups here. Okay, guys, thank you. Jim and I, thanks for joining me. Doing the singles read, pulling through the deck here. It's for the weekend, November 19th, 20th, 21st. I'm going to do a four card read. Let's kind of get a, an idea of where you're at as singles around love and relationship as we go into this weekend. And this is really about the full moon, um, which is happening right about now. Five of Pentacles, this is your energy. In and around love and relationship, Gemini, it's the lack mentality. It's not feeling like you have enough. Um, it could be enough money, but generally, you know, it's that I'm not good enough. And I was saying in the Soul Family Read, do check out Soul Family Read. It's a daily collector read I do, more around manifestation, spirituality. And this came up, and I said, this is the worst energy to manifest from right here, the Five of Pentacles. Um, because the best case scenario, uh, we're going to manifest want and need. We're going to manifest people who discount us and, um, you know, um, um, breadcrumb us and just leave us feeling in this Five of Pentacles energy. Um, so, the hermit. So, now, I think because this, you could kind of look at it as the hermit reversed. It's This is saying, I got to tell you, Jim and I, I'm sorry, this isn't like, I'm going to be like preaching. But what this says to me is you haven't been doing the work of the hermit. The work of the hermit is introverted work. It's pointing the finger at you. It's never, ever, ever saying like they, 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 they. Me, 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 me. That's how you change it. Just by saying me. And you know the hermit, I mean look, he's also shining his light on the five of pentacles there. Okay. So um, this is going inside and 
getting in touch with this energy, which isn't easy about not being enough. It always comes from childhood. For those of us that have lucky enough, it seems to be kind of rare to have emotionally available, intelligent, competent parents um, that uh, raise us with a good sense of self-esteem. Uh, we don't have to do this kind of thing. But you really have to do the good work of self. That's what that's about. There's no getting out of that. Let's get the advice of the lovers. In order to get the lovers, you have to do the good work of self. That's kind of, I feel like this is the advice from spirit position. So I feel like they're just kind of backing me up here. Now that's also the Gemini card. So, you know, I just got it. Uh, thank you, spirit. Self-love. I know it's corny as fuck. I'm sorry. But this is doing the good inner work, doing looking, doing the shadow work, looking inside. And this is the advice from spirit is to love yourself. That's what that is. And the Ace of Wands. And you will be rewarded with success and opportunity. I think this is somebody coming in. You know? Um, there's like This could be a little fine-tuning. It doesn't have to be that bad. You could just be oh, yeah. And just, hey, now's the time. we got the energy on us still. It's on us right now. So, you know, just would have try to ride that. And the Ace of Wands looks like something coming in. It could also be, you know, it could be an opportunity coming in. Um, fire sign energy coming in. And kind of doing you a solid here, Gemini. Um, maybe kind of shaking you out of this. Not only does it have the fire energy, which is kind of like a phallus with the Ace of Wands. But here it's like a, somebody's offering flowers. You know, so I feel like somebody could, could be recognizing you too, getting recognition, which may make you feel better in terms of not feeling good enough. Um, but remember, it all comes from within. That's the hermit. It's not about, the hermit don't care what anybody else thinks, how great they think they are. Um, but with the lovers and the ace of wands, and I'd certainly be open to someone coming in, particularly a fire sign, Gemini, thank you. Cancers, thanks for joining me. Doing the singles read today, but I'm doing an all signs read, just pulling through the deck, trying to get a handle on where you're at in terms of love and relationship 19, 20, 21st, which is really not only the weekend energy, but it's the energy of this full moon, Taurus, 27 degrees Taurus. So let's get a beat. This is uh, Cancer. This is um, in the Ethereal Visions Illuminate Tarot deck, really emphasizes cooperation here. But this is the Good Workers card. When I see this in your energy or where you're at in and around relationships and love here, um, I believe you've been doing the good work of self here. Um, that's a great way to start. It's a great way to manifest. It's the, it's the way to do it. Now, the seven of wands. This is in your challenge position. I think this is a challenge because you're having to defend the castle in some way. With the seven of wands, it's always the righteous defense of the castle. Or it could be, I like to see this as kind of being a reversed energy. Maybe the problem is you're not defending the castle. And with the three of pinnacles emphasizing cooperation, I think you have been doing the good work, uh, but you might be being taken advantage of in some way in terms of cooperation. Um, it could be red crumbing, it could be um, the people that not reciprocating, you know, um, that kind of energy too. Um, and because I think like you probably need to defend the castles what this is going to say since it's in reverse and you're not you need basically to put it simple you need to stand up for yourself somehow and you might be being taken advantage of somehow in terms of a group dynamic or if you're dating maybe by the person um, that you're dating wow now this is advice from spirit you know, I think the hair font here, it's not about marriage or anything. It could speak to Taurus. You have Uranus there. Uranus is the higher mind, the higher self. It's at 12 degrees Taurus, opposite Mount of Venus. Exactly. Well, Saturn is square. It almost exactly is getting there. So this is really, I think the advice from spirit is to uh, vibe higher. I'd say a vibe higher, Cancer. Take a bigger view. Take that Uranus helicopter view. Back out and look at things. Um, and, and, and um, you know, because this too can be the third house, can be Gemini. 
that's the trees, you know, Sag and Ninth House, that's looking at the forest, not the trees. Gemini's looking at the trees, not the forest. So it's kind of like uh, maybe what will help you in terms of getting what you need to stand up for yourself and defend yourself. Also can be just simply relying on your own belief system, whether that's religious or in your personal belief system too. Personal belief systems like I am good enough, I am capable, I am worthy. In the four of swords, you're going to need some time of healing. I think it's speaking to four weeks. So it's kind of like by about the time Sagittarius is over, there's a lot going on this month. So by about the solstice, I think you're going to be popping out of this and ready to heal. And this is a period where, you know, check out the Soul Family Read. I'll put a link up with this uh, in the description here. And it's a daily collective read. I have the weekend read up. Uh, for love and manifestation, maybe that'll speak to you um, during this time. It's like some downtime while you prepare yourself uh, to move on in terms of uh, your singles uh, journey for love. This looks like it's going to be a few minutes, you know. All right, thank you guys. And Leo's, thanks for joining me. It's a singles read, pulling through the deck here. This is for the weekend, 19th, 20th, 21st. And really, it's the full moon read. It's uh, on us right now as I'm kind of doing this reading. And 27 degrees Taurus. And we'll keep that in mind as we roll along here, Leo. Now, Knight in of Wands. This is your energy in and around love and relationship. I'm trying to keep in mind that you're single. But with the Knight of Wands, that's a coming at you night. Okay? That could be you. That's a fire sign. But that would be you taking action. So... Could you be on a dating site? Could you somehow, in some way, being actively dating? You could be the one pursuing, asking people out, male or female. You would be the one kind of taking the lead here. You know, it would make sense with the Leo. That could be being kind of dominant. Being, feeling particularly charismatic right now and confident right now that's really good energy for manifesting uh, love and relationship but look at this wow nine of swords guys this is like the nine of swords reverse you're pouring it on too hard okay that's what that is try to look at it from the other people's point of view and i bet you if you do ask a friend like stop and think about it. it's not to criticize but you know you might be just coming on a little too strong and you might not be seeing it because you're kind of caught up in the moment of it and the way you're coming on too strong is verbally. So honestly, it's kind of saying, take it down a notch. Okay, justice. Justice card, Libra energy in your chart, seventh house in your chart, um, Venus in your chart. Keep an eye on what's going on there. Um, this is the advice from spirit. So it kind of speaks to me with justice. That's karma. It's things are outside of our control. It's the big stuff it's that the full moon it's a lot going on right now um, it kind of speaks that you um, need to be aware of the bigger picture in terms of love and relationship there's something going on karmically you know when I said like you're kind of coming on too strong like an Aries you might say um, and now what's this Libra energy too um, so it's uh, air energy the swords and she has a big swords and believers air um, so it has to do with the way you speak and what it is the advice is to be more polite uh, uh, more respectful maybe uh, more polite you know Libra and the, the, the diplomat to be more diplomatic know about that okay sort of like just tweak it down a notch a lot of this is about manifestation so it's like if you want to manifest, maybe that's the advice here. Put, take it down as the notch. And this is coming towards you. Now you come in as a knight of wands, and this is a knight of pentacles. And so three knights here. Guys, I got to tell you, you got love coming towards you. Here's why you want to back it down. This is a knight of pentacles, male or female. Okay, they're slow. They respect themselves. Um, they're very thoughtful. Um, they probably are not overly impressed by uh, boisterous displays. Uh, 
um, bravado or or, or um, anything like that. Um, but they're definitely meeting your energy here. They like you. Probably, you know, they've got that earth sign, so they, they do want that fire that you have. Because here is, you have the fire, okay? Just tone it down a little bit, and it's gonna, you're going to come in like a plane and land just right on top of this uh, earth sign here. It's looking back at you here, Taurus, personality, Virgo, or Capricorn, maybe. <laughs> Guys, that's kind of imminent. Maybe this weekend. Yeah, wow. Okay, thank you guys. So, um, now um, we're talking to Virgos. And I catch myself there. Uh, we're doing singles read. This is for the weekend, 19th, 20th, 21st. Really kind of the full moon read because we're, we're right in it right now kind of as I'm doing this reading. We're keeping in mind your singles here, single here as we do this, pulling in the deck. Three of Wands, this is you, in and around love and relationships, where your mind and heart is at as a single person, and that is looking. I have a running joke, you know, by the astrology uh, um, dating group, we call it Three of Wands, the, you know, looking for love. And um, that would just be kind of describe where you're at. I mean, you could definitely, you could be on a dating site with someone, you're definitely looking, you're not someone saying, I've given up on love, I've given up on men, I've given up on women. You're interested, but maybe you're not really taking action. Because now this is reverse, and this is one of the best cards in the deck, but it's taking action. So you may have kind of stopped trying. You know, I, I kind of get that too, because see, this is different than the normal three of ones. You know, he's, he's kind of up top looking, he's not even down on the shoreline, you know. Uh, so it's kind of like, you know, this could be the energy. I've done this when I wasn't ready because I really got to want to know. You get on a dating site and you like look, but you don't talk to anybody or respond. Yeah, maybe kind of like that, uh, Burgos. All right. The world. This is the advice from spirit. Guys, get active. Turn this around. Turn this up and do the work because this is a promise. This is advice from spirit. This is saying um, the world is there. The world is your oyster, but it's kind of saying there's something amazing. Uh, it's like spirit saying like, I've got someone, I've got something amazing, but you got to do the work, you know, um, to get it. I'm not going to just send it to the door with the UPS guy or woman. Judgment, and that's the outcome. <clears throat> so this involves kind of accepting, I think with judgment being called up to our purpose accepting something we've been called to do probably our whole lives something long maybe that's what's holding you back um but it could be that maybe your life purpose is love i mean we have north node in the seventh house maybe you have a you know seventh house sun um or something um but with this being the outcome and i think you're going to do it that you're gonna and you know it's coming with the world some serious major arcana this is advice and the outcome. So I got to think that the world will be had, probably what they're saying, the world will be had by making this uh, uh, arising to the call of judgment, you know. See, their souls being called up by the angels. So um, if God or source, however you want to put it, calls you up, say, yo, Virgil, thank you guys. Libra, thanks for joining me. Doing the singles reads for the 19th, 20, 21st of November here. And uh, pulling through the deck, doing four, four cards uh, to get kind of an idea where you're at in terms of love and relationship. And looking at it in terms of singles too. So this is you, um, Libras, in terms of love and relationship where your mind and heart is at. So you're single and you're still broken hearted. If this is your reading, that's pretty much how it's going to shake out here um, and you know with the five of cups they always remind you well the two's behind you and there you can just turn around and get it and all that stuff but usually when you're in this energy um, you can't really um, bring yourself to really uh, be enthusiastic by the encouragement that there's many fish in the sea I mean you're really still actively mourning some someone you know relationship it's, it's not a terrible time to be in a relationship and the queen of cups here libra is what's blocking you 
Um, so we think of that in reverse. I need to speak into the person. So the person you're thinking of, we have the cups here, and then we have the queen of cups, male or female. Um, they could be most likely a Cancer. It could be a Scorpio or a Pisces also. Um, someone mature, someone you might kind of put on a pedestal, someone you kind of look up to. Um, and I'm going to tell you about manifestation. I went through this with uh, a woman that was when at the age of uh, 55, I think. Um, uh, just the most amazing experience of my life. Like I'd never been in love before. I'd never, everything had never clicked like that before. And then she, you know, uh, uh, so I had to deal with that. And it took a while. But the second that I let go, emotionally let go, um, you know, things got a lot better for me. So I understand how hard this is to do. I think this was probably a pretty amazing person. And I don't know, I kind of get the feeling like, kind of like with me, I mean, they didn't exactly fuck you over or anything. They just took a pass, you know. And after maybe you thought they were all in, because it's pretty bitter. Five of Cups here is pretty bitter. It's the way it was for me. Advice from Spirit, you got to heal up. It's probably happened before, too. I see cycles here. Guys, um, look at the um, uh, heart spread read for this week. Um, let's see. Yours uh, was up... Um, yesterday yesterday yeah sorry uh so um friday uh thursday was yours um today is sag and cap and what i did this week is a little different for the heart spread i'm kind of trying to look for uh, look at your relationship with love and romance instead of looking at you and another person and i think this is going to fit perfectly for you you know it's up on my page it's up from yesterday and uh, because you know this healing um it is after um, kind of pointing to probably this has happened before. And so it kind of could be saying, I hate to say this, but it's like you really need to let yourself heal this time, you know. Um, and maybe you had it before. And I think this one got you good, guys. Chariot, this is the outcome. I got to tell you, this is a little corny maybe, but I think whatever happened to you, this person... It is definitely karmic. There's no doubt about it. it has to, relationships always have to do with our soul's growth. That's how we grow. And um, this is all setting you on course to be in line with your soul's purpose. If you're not feeling it already, I don't think you are. In the future, probably the near future, you're going to begin to see that, you you know, um, the rejection is God's protection. And you're going to be able to see how this all lines you up to be better in better alignment with your soul's purpose. And um, um, so it's a very positive card. It also speaks to cancer in your chart. Um, and ultimately, I think you may have help from a cancer person coming in too um, for you. Not so sure that's going to be a lover, uh, Libra. This may be a cancer person that comes in in the form of help, you know. Um, so let me know what you think of that. All right, Scorpios. Welcome. Doing the singles read. This is for the 19th, 20th, 21st of November. I'm reading through the deck here. Doing a four-card spread for each sign. Just trying to get an idea where you're at as singles in terms of love and relationship. Wow, congratulations. This is you because the King of Cups can definitely be a Scorpio. Congratulations, because it's my favorite card in this deck. I call it the Jim Morrison King of Cups. And I love this one. It could be the dude, you know, it could be, you know, it could be Hugh Hefner, too, a little bit with the uh, robe. Uh, but that's one laid-back-looking king. So you're a pretty cool, now excuse my allergies, you're a pretty cool king, okay? It also does imply someone who's emotionally stable right now, emotionally available, emotionally intelligent. Uh, probably mostly in control of your emotions. Um, does show Pisces energy too there. Um, may speak to something in your chart. Maybe uh, pro progressed energy in Pisces. You know, we have Neptune there. It's extremely prominent right now. The Six of Wands is uh, blocking, so you could read it as it's uh, reversed. Maybe people don't see how cool you are. You're not really getting the recognition you think you deserve. I kind of think you deserve it. You're the Jim Morrison King of Cups. The Vice of Spirit. 
um, obsessions and love is what this is. It is scorpionic energy, Pluto energy. Um, I think more than the Capricorn energy. Could speak to Capricorn in your chart where Pluto is right now at uh, 25 degrees Capricorn. So um, this would be as advice to just pay attention uh, maybe the reason why you're not getting these accolades, this is kind of the ego too, the Six of Wands. It's just feeling like, you know, people are not looking at you, not paying attention to you. Maybe not giving you what you feel you deserve. Maybe you feel like you won it. You, you should be getting kind of rewarded and like you're not. Um, and there's something toxic about that. Guys, let me see if I can get a, a pull my first... Uh, uh, clarification card ace of pentacles I think this probably speaks to something you really want this ace of pentacles because I'm clarifying really the six of wands and the devil you know what is it that's keeping you in this feeling of not and getting what you deserve kind of get it um, and I think you're kind of hung up on something probably someone maybe an earth sign Okay, so let's see the outcome. Seven of Swords. Also, I think of this as a Scorpio card. It is looking back at this devil. So you're, you're hung up on someone um, that cheated, lied, and stolen. And that's got you in all kinds of strategic thinking. The other meaning of the Seven of Swords. Um, and I think this is what this devil is. You're kind of obsessing over it. So be advised, however you do it. I've been there. Just said it in the last uh, read. The last uh, read with Libra. Um, it, as soon as you let go of this energy, things will pop. So you got to let go of it. Sometimes it takes time. You, first of all, it takes awareness and an intention. So congratulations, guys. Um, thank you. All right. Sagittarius, thanks for joining me. Doing a singles read here for November 19th, 2021. And uh, pulling through the deck, doing a four-card reese. Kind of get a beat on where you're at and around love and relationships, guys. So let's see. As singles, six of pentacles. This is your energy, Sag. In and around love and relationships. Where your mind and heart is at. I'd say it's about perfect energy to have right here. Balanced. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. I just sipped my Earl Grey tea, you know. So very balanced energy. Um... It's got that Libra quality to it, too. Um, you know, uh, great energy to go into a relationship with. Because it, with it being pinnacles, you're solid, you're grounded, you're kind of owning your shit. And I think you, it'd be fantastic. Now, look at that. Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is what's crossing you. So, think of it as Seven of Pentacles reversed. Sagittarius, I think what this means, i got to think in terms of manifestation... I don't think you're really putting it out there what you want. Um, in the past, the reason why you're so balanced, the reason you have the Six of Pentacles, is in the past you weren't reciprocated. And maybe that was a pattern. And so what you've done is you're like, you're damn well, I'm damn well going to have my shit together. And maybe you said to yourself, I'm not getting not reciprocated again. That's not happening. It's not how you manifest. That's why if you look at this, then it would be reversed. Because it's causing you a problem, it's causing you a blocking, because you can't focus on that. You have to just focus, you know, if you're going to do this, say, you know, I want to manifest reciprocation. That's all, you know. I will manifest reciprocation this time. And uh, you don't want to focus on the not being reciprocated. I think both of those being pinnacles might be kind of hard, kind of holding it back in terms of manifestation. Because what you're going to do is just bring in people, don't reciprocate. That's just how it works. It's like crazy, right? Now, this is the advice from spirit, king, king of wands. Now, advice from spirit. These are both uh, pinnacles. I think it's kind of get out of your comfort zone. It's also got that Leo energy on it, so it emphasizes the sun. So sad, it's like get out of your comfort zone. Really be yourself, you know. Um, maybe, you know, Thanksgiving co coming up. Go and have some fun. Uh, maybe, um, you know, this can, can be... Uh, being bold too, being brave, being confident, taking the wheel uh, in your hands uh, in life and kind of going for it too. Wow, I like that. Being advice from spirit in the nine of pinnacles. 
It's like all you need in order to get really balanced and be the uh, complete happy bachelor. It's completely grounded. This is a really a long way to go from the Six of Pentacles. It's a fantastic progression. So all you have to do is light, your, light up your fire. Light yourself up. Shine. Take the basket off of your candle. Don't hide your candle in a bushel basket. And then you're going to be totally complete. And that's a Nine of Pentacles. Again, Six of Pentacles. Perfect energy to go into dating with. Owning your own stuff, taking care of your own stuff, being a, a strong and independent, and uh, going out and finding someone for love. Thank you, guys. Capricorns, thanks for joining me. This is the singles read for the 19th through the 21st of November, and uh, also very much a read for the full moon and Taurus, 27 degrees Taurus. So let's see, Caps, where you're at. Well, wow. King of Pentacles. Now, I would say, being that this is where you are at in and around love and relationship as a single person, and the King of Pentacles very well can represent Capricorn, you're showing up in your own meet, reading. So what does that mean to me? It means that you're being yourself, you're hitting on all cylinders, already out of the bat, basically whatever you're doing, you're doing the right thing. It tells me you've done the work because you're King of Pentacles. You don't get to be the King of Pentacles by sitting on your laurels. Um, you might be a mature person too, and you're f fully capable of taking care of yourself. Now this is interesting because this is in your blocking position, so it's as if the Four of Pentacles was reversed. Ah, let me see, clarifying with the Wheel of Fortune. Clarifying with the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. You may have had something go south on you before, you know, the kings are, the only thing that can get to them is love. I mean, you're not going to get to them with a dagger. They're protected by an army, a castle, guards, um, palace guards. Um, and I think it, you can look at this four of pentacles being reversed. It's um, really holding back your energy. And I think with this uh, wheel of fortune here, they always say it turns in your fa uh, favor. But now this is in the position of blocking. So again, you can almost look at that now as if it's reversed and it could be you saying like you know I'm reluctant to you know I've got my shit together and I'm not I'm reluctant to screw that up because look at what happened before you're telling yourself you know and yeah the advice from spirit is like this is all in your head this is all in your head whatever happened to you before it's not going to happen again unless you manifest it and the way you manifest it is this hanging on to it like this thinking about it don't think about, you know, I don't want that to happen again. Think it's just only about what you want to happen, you know, and that's what will get you out of the Eight of Swords. Start thinking about what you're grateful for and what you want to happen, and it'll drive you out of any hole, just like a good four-wheel drive, right? All right. And strength. Wow. Capricorn's outcome is fantastic strength card. I always see this as a blessing and a little bit of a warning. And that you will have enough strength to do what you need to do, which I believe is to let go of this feeling of uh, not wanting to get uh, hurt again by whatever, whoever it was that did this. And um, also, it kind of means it will be a struggle. And when you have strength, um, you know, it kind of means you're going to need it, you know. And maybe you just need the strength to make this uh, jump. It is a full moon, it's what it's for is to let go of things just like this and maybe it's watching this just let it go but the energy's strong maybe by tomorrow the next day you'll find yourself moving into the strength energy and you lo and behold you're let go of that capricorn thank you guys aquarius looking at your singles read here this is uh for uh the weekend of the 19th 2021st it's also really the full moon Read at 27 Taurus, which is ongoing right about now. Walking away. This is your energy in and around love and relationships. If you're single, you're single because you walked away from someone fairly recently. So that's always dangerous energy to be in, in a, a relationship. And, and there you go. This, this is what's blocking you. Um, you're not the happy bachelor. So, you know, you're really not in any position to date. You know, you're single. Um, and this is your advice from spirit is to get really solid and get really strong and uh, the king of swords is very strong uh, the truth comes out and not afraid of the truth 
um, because you want this nine of cups to be upright this is kind of like now it's reversed like you're not emotionally fulfilled you're just in no shape to move forward with a relationship it simply just manifests whatever it is you're trying to escape that's how it works Page of Pentacles here, Aquarius. Um, I think you need to focus on a new start. I don't think this is a person, although I think there might be an earth sign person coming in to help you. Maybe you're going to live with them temporarily or something like that. You know, Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn personality, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, think. And you're going to be kind of starting over, too. It's such a, you probably left with, often the Six of Swords is the kind of hasty getaway. It's not fun. Um, so you kind of could be just starting out all over again, but the advice from spirit is stand strong and You know maybe be glad that you're starting out all over again because at least you're away from whatever it is You're trying to get away from Aquarius, let me know what you think of that. Thank you guys um, Pisces, thank you for joining me Doing your singles read here. This is for the weekend of the 19th 2021st and um, looking at singles, love, and relationships, just trying to get an idea where you're at right now. And this is you. Wow. This is the four of wands. Uh, this is where you're at in terms of love and relationship right now. Um, it's interesting you're single because this indicates a long-term committed relationship or a marriage. It's actually taking actions for a long-term committed relationship or a marriage. Let me see what your advice is. Five of Swords. So I think you're in a marriage or a long-term committed relationship. There's a lot of arguing. That's what's crossing you. And this is pretty vicious fighting here with the Five of Swords. You know, Five of Swords is not, you know, relationship's not, relationship's not going to last very long with Five of Swords energy. And, you know, no one would want it to. And this is the advice from Spirit is to get balance in yourself, uh, Pisces. Uh, let me see. Outcome's going to be important here. Ten of Cups, wow, interesting, um, you know, beautiful Ten of Cups in the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck, by the way, so two of, two of Pentacles is really personally balancing, making the effort to get yourself balanced, and I think it's like getting out of this energy, it's like maybe you're realizing that you were, I think you were fighting to maybe keep a marriage together, you know, and I did it, been there, I think it's honorable, I think it's kind of the right thing to do in a way, you know, but with this being what's blocking you, it's like, don't fight anymore. Take care of yourself. Balance your own stuff. Worry about your own stuff. Never think them. Never say them. Always think me. Always say me. I. Me. I will. I am. You know, it's like, who cares what they're doing? Here's what I'm doing. You know, I'm doing yoga in the morning. I'm taking a walk in the morning. Drinking my shake in the morning. I'm taking my, taking care of my job. Taking care of my health. Take care of my kids, whatever's necessary. And this is what's going to bring you the Ten of Cups. And I'm not really clear here. Um, tomorrow I'll have the Aquarius and Pisces uh, reads up uh, for the heart spread. Will you check that out? Yeah, because this week it's a little different. I'm examining you and your relationship with love and romance. And it might be helpful to be a little more involved in a reading here. Let's see. <laughs> Page of Swords. Yeah, I, I think there's something coming in with for you, and I think this page is something new. And um, they're looking at your Ten of Cups. So you do have something new coming in for you. But it's still about balancing yourself. That's what's going to get you this Ten of Cups. Um, and this person may be younger than you. They're probably going to speak first. Uh, you know, you might still be in the energy of this relationship, and hopefully you're not out beating the bushes for someone else. But this is someone that just can't help like saying how pretty you are or how much they like what you said or they appreciate what you stand for. Something like that coming into your life in that way. And they may be the one, Pisces. I like that Ten of Cups. So thank you guys. Like, share, do uh, tell a friend, tell a friend, and subscribe. Hit the bell if you haven't. Thank you.